Hi, today we're going to see how to create a 3D retro text effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press minus scanner keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the color of this layer here, background. So I'm going to click on the background color. And now I'm going to select this red color. The HTML notation is D84D4D, press OK. And now I'm just going to drag it here on the layer. And now I'm going to change the foreground color. I'm going to select this blue color. The HTML notation is 33ABD4. Press OK. And now select the text tool. The font I'm using is Poppins Bold. And now left click. And now I'm going to type my text. So here it is. And now select the alignment tool. I'm going to center this text on the image here. So left click. Make sure the line is relative to the image, and now let's align it horizontally and then vertically. So here it is. If you want to remove these squares here of the alignment tool, just select another tool. And now I'm going to convert this text into a path. So right click on the text layer, and then text to path. And now I'm going to hide the text layer. I'm going to create a new transparent layer. So click on this icon, fill it to transparency, and then press OK. And now if you go to the path tab, this one here, here's our text, so with the red outline. So now double click on the path here. So as you can see, we switched to the text tool automatically. And now I'm going to fill this path here. So I'm going to go back to the layers tab. Make sure you're going to fill the new transparent layer you created. And now click on fill path so it's going to fill this path with the foreground color so with the blue color so click on fill path check the solid color and then check the anti-aliasing and then fill so here it is and now while the path is active here i'm going to add two new layers so i'm going to click on this icon fill it with transparency and then press ok this is the transparent layer and now i'm going to add stroke here so I'm going to switch between the foreground and background. I'm going to left click on the foreground color. So I'm going to change the color to white, press OK. And now I'm going to stroke this path. So click on stroke path. It will add the white stroke since the foreground color is white. So click on stroke path. And now check stroke line, solid color, and then anti-aliasing. The line width is 10 pixels and then stroke. So here it is. And now I'm going to create another new transparent layer. So click on this icon, fill it to transparency, and then press OK. So as you can see, the path here is still active. So now I'm just going to click on the foreground color. I'm going to change the color. I'm going to select this dark blue. The, the HTML notation is 133263. Press OK. And now just as before, click on stroke path. And here we are with the same settings, stroke line, solid color, anti-aliasing, and then 10 pixels line width, and then stroke. So here it is. And now just select another tool to hide this path to remove the path. So here it is. So if you press the plus key on your keyboard to zoom in, so here is our white outline. So this is the text. So I'm going to name this one here white. Press enter. And for the blue outline, I'm going to name it blue. So here, and for this one, for the blue text here, I'm going to name it text, press enter. So here it is. So now I'm going to place the blue outline here under the white outline. So here it is. So now press plus on your keyboard to zoom in. And now make sure you're on the move tool. And now I'm going to move the blue layer here the blue outline layer i'm going to create the inner shadow with it so like this while moving the layer keep the control key down here to move it on the same line and i'm going to move it to the right so like this so here it is i'm going to move it a little bit upward so here so here i think it's okay here and now i'm going to add white lines here inside the sky blue text here so i'm going to select the text layer this one here i'm going to duplicate it and then go to filters so i'm, I'm going to use the top text here go to filters distorts 
and then newsprint so here it is keep the settings line and here i'm going to go with the default settings and then press ok and now i'm going to remove the white color here so here make sure you're on the lines copy here this one text here we used and now go to layer transparency and then color to alpha so here as you can see we selected the white color and then press ok and now i'm going to change the layer mode here of the black lines here into overlay so left click here on the mode and then let's change it to overlay so here it is you can still for example if you don't like this effect too much you can still increase the opacity or decrease it so it's as you wish and now i'm going to select the white outline layer this one here i'm going to duplicate it so click on this icon and now i'm going to place it under all the layers here so here it is if i hide it's right under the text the blue text so from here i'm going to add long shadow to it so go to filters light and shadow long shadow so as you can see the long shadow filter is using the blue color we used for the outline the dark blue so we're going to use this one here and now i'm going to reduce the length so here it's too much so i think i'm going to go with this one here so i'm going to so i think i'm going to so if you click on the game window press the plus on your keyboard to zoom in make sure here to cover all the blue text here the white the inner shadow text we used here so now i'm going to increase a little bit the length so here i'm going to decrease the angle so here until i cover so here i think it's okay here so let's see so it's okay so now press minus on your keyboard to zoom out so i think i'm going to leave it with these settings the style is finite so here are the angles the angle sorry with the length and the color and then press ok and now on the same layer here which we used the long shadow go to filters again and then just click on ratio long shadow so we're going to use the long shadow filter again and then if you click on presets you left click on the last used it will give you same settings you used before and now i'm going to change the color to black i'm going to add kind of shadow here so here it is press ok it's the with the same amount i'm going to reduce a little bit so first i'm going to reduce the opacity so here like this now i'm going to reduce the length a little bit so i don't want too much so i think i'm going to leave it here and i'm just going to play a little bit with the opacity so i think i'm going to leave it here and then press ok and now press the minus on your keyboard to zoom out so here it is so now we just have one more step so select the top layer right click on it new from visible to create new layer from what's visible on the canva and now i'm going to create a new transparent layer so click on this icon fill it with transparency and then press ok and now i'm going to fill it with black so i'm going to change the foreground colors to black so here it is and now press ok and now let's fill the transparent layer and then go to filters noise then choose the first one cia noise so now i'm going to bring the chroma slider all the way down it will add colored noise here i don't want that so i'm just going to leave the default settings like this and then press ok and now i'm just going to change the layer mode here of the black layer to screen so here it is and now i'm just going to reduce the opacity a little bit so here i'm going to left click here and then press the plus key so here try to find so select the black layer so here what you want so here it is press the minus on your keyboard to zoom out so right click new from visible again so here it is that's how you can create a 3d retro text effect in game thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time